what's up guys another cool one to show off this is a copper and a bit of burnt copper and black uh cerakoted build so you kind of got like three colors going on here so this is a copper dial that we've done the back kind of in a more of an enamel painted copper Actually, this died the other day because I haven't uh, I've had it sitting here for a couple days. So let's go ahead and wind it a little bit. At least get it going around so we can uh, look at that part, right? Okay. So we've got a copper case, copper Cerakoted case. We've got a burnt copper bezel with black inlay. We've got a burnt copper crown with the uh, Biohazard logo there on it. We've got the burnt copper going up the sides with black inlay down the middle. Copper itself on the clasp engraved Biohazard. Side of the case is done that way too, if I didn't say that. Um, so you got all three layers of, of uh, Cerakote all right here in one scene. And then I did a black Ploprof handset with a custom painted, which I think I was able to match that dial almost perfect, uh, copper seconds hand there. And then the back side, we've got a gilded rotor, stainless steel movement holder, and a low profile exhibition case back on there. And that is this build. Came together quite nicely. Um, Cerakote in these is always a pain. These uh, the shark mesh hybrid uh, with this center here, but came out pretty good. So that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. It could be going to Joe. Joe, if it's going to you, congrats, man. Thank you for your support. Um, this was one of the options in the Powerball waffle that I ran just last night. So it could be going to them, but I didn't have the video put up yet. And he hasn't selected which one he wants, so. Uh, that's this build. Uh, tension ring holds this bezel on there. The bezel is on there quite tight. It will go left. It will go right. Just held on with the tension ring. Um, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it. You can wear it. You can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not going to be very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit like I did earlier. Back the crown off the threads until you hear it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And the wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything. But it's a lot easier to go back and forth, keeping your fingers spacing. If you do this for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you'll keep time throughout the day. And if you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're gonna max out your 31 plus hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it. You can wind it all day if you like. When you're good, pull it to the one and only click, and you can now set your time. It's not have a hacking movement, so it's gonna keep going. Okay, Google, what time is it? It's 12.35 p.m. And it has a wobble crown that deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement. If you or push and prime on it, you uh, it will deflect that. If you pull it out straight, you won't even really feel it. Um, whenever you're done time setting, push it over, take it out of the time setting spot, and wind your crown back down. And that is the build. That came out pretty awesome. As with every build, they come with matching beads, which we don't quite have copper. We have something real close to copper. So, matching beads there. This will come in a Biohazard Special Edition box. This will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts. So, this watch as a whole, non toxic, non streaking, non residue, and some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon. Uh, it is because you've got an acrylic glass. If you ever get a tiny scratch in it, put it a little bit on it, buff against that scratch, filling the scratch using your included microfiber, buff it out, and uh, you should. Uh, remove the scratch in about 20 seconds. Just generate some heat with your thumb. Uh, like I said, go against the scratch, not with it. You do not want to rub out the stuff you've just put in there, so go against the scratch. Um, and this is like Poly Watch, so uh, it's just cheaper for us to buy this in bulk and repackage it ourselves. Um, but yeah, so that is the build. If it's going to you, congrats. Um, appreciate your support. And uh, if you want me to be able to do something custom and unique, reach out. I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.